going to a Halloween party and have no budget, then you are on the right track. I will be sharing with you a simple tutorial on how to still look pretty during Halloween. So, let's start by applying a primer. I would be using the Quick FX No Shine Modifier for my makeup to last long. Using my fingers, I just put and spread the product all over my face. Having a good base means a good result. Apply it generously and lightly. Before I forget, you have to start with a clean base and to tone it. After that, it's time for foundation. I use the Nichido Perfect Skin Stick Foundation for this makeup look because it gives a moderate to full coverage which helps me resolve my eyebrow problems. Using a wet sponge, I gently spread the product on my face and neck. Take time to blend this in to avoid caking up. As for the concealer, I use the shower concealer and apply it under my eyes. On my forehead and on my nose bridge which will also serve as my highlighter I blend it in using the same sponge that I used for my foundation And I bake this using the Lewis and Pearl baby powder with a brush. And as for my eyebrow, I just follow the shape of it because I have a natural thick brow. The product that I use is the Avera Brow Pencil and I spread the product using a spoon. I just clean the edges using the same concealer that I use for my face. For my eyeshadow, just grab a dark pink to red color and apply it on your lid. Because I don't have any dark pink to red tone, I use the Vice Candali Cosmetics in the shade Kabuk, which also serve as my eyeshadow base and blend it lightly up to my crease. And for my crease and transition shade, I use the brown shade of the EB Contour Duo in the shade Dip. Using the brown shade of the shower brow in the number 2, I applied some product on the outer portion of my eye to give a soft, intense effect. Add more up to your satisfaction.
grab any bronze eyeshadow and apply it on your lid. The product that I use is the Ever Beleno Brown Palette. After that, using the same product, I applied a white shimmer shade on my teardrops. And before I forget, I applied the product that I used under my eyes. Using the same white eyeshadow, I applied it under my eyebrow to highlight the arc. I just do the other eye and apply some eyeliner and mascara and I will be right back so next is that I'm just brushing off the powder and just blending it in to give a smooth effect Because I have a big face and a flat nose, I contoured it using an EB Contour Duo. So for this look, it's a must for me but this is optional. I then applied some blush on the apples of my cheek to bring back the color of my face to give a fairy effect I added the weight of my highlight starting from my cheekbone up to the arc of my brow using the same product For the lipstick, I use my ever favorite Vice Kinda Lip Cosmetics in the shade Egg Lovely. And for the final touch, to complete this fairy look, I just grabbed an acrylic and toxic paint and a paintbrush that makes sure that it's clean. Test it first on your hand and apply it some dots following the shape of your brow. And lastly, I applied two dots on the highlighted cheekbones. And voila, the makeup look is done. It's simple and elegant, far from the typical Halloween white lady that I always want to do. So, I'll just fix my hair, put some accessories, and change my clothes, and I'll be right back.
please don't forget to click like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the bell button beside it for more notifications for more videos thank you everyone enjoy it bye bye